Okay, you have to compute the limit of uh, the tangent of x over x. So solution. So let's do this two ways. Yeah, I think we can do this two ways. So solution one. Uh, the tangent, well, let's write it in times of sine and cosine, right? If you plug in zero, you get tangent of zero over zero, so you get zero over zero, so that's no good. So let's let's try rewriting this in terms of sines and cosines. So this will be sine x over cosine x, all divided by x, right? So this is really the limit as x approaches zero. Now, it's all of this divided by x. So when you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal. So this is going to be sine x over cosine x times 1 over x. So now what we'll do is we'll rewrite this. This is the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x times the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over cosine x. So why did we do that? And is this right? Yeah, it is. Cosine x times x, or x times cosine x is here, so no problems. And the sine x times 1 is just sine x. All right, why? Well, because this limit here is 1, right? That's what we wanted to use. And then here you can just plug in 0. So you get 1 over cosine 0, which is 1 over 1. So you get 1 times 1 over 1, so you get 1. So there is another way to do this problem. Let's, let me show you. So solution 2, we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the tangent of x over x. This is an indeterminate form. It's an indeterminate form, right? So um, it's 0 over 0 if you plug in 0. So you can use L'Hopital's rule. I can never say it right. L'Hopital's. <laughs> and L'Hopital's rule says whenever you have an indeterminate form uh, that looks like 0 over 0, among other cases, but in this case we have 0 over 0, we just take derivatives. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared x. The derivative of x is 1. At this point, you can plug in 0. You get secant squared of 0, uh, which is 1. So two ways to do the same problem. So if you haven't learned L'Hopital's rule yet, rule yet, you probably want to do it the first way. If you have learned L'Hopital's, uh, you could do it this way. But I think it's worth knowing how to do it uh, both, both ways. It definitely is worth it.